Hey guys, it's Michael Fisher with PocketNow.com here at the launch event for the HTC One in New York City. Checking out how the One compares to its immediate predecessor, the Droid DNA. So as you can see, HTC has maintained the design language here. If we can kind of tilt the phones there and maybe get some light on them, you can see that that curved build that adheres itself to your palm very well has been maintained. But on the HTC One, the build is all aluminum, and there is there are very little concessions to non-aluminum components here. This is a kind of a single cast block, and it feels amazing. It is also much, much smaller feeling in the hand, even though it is not much smaller than the Droid DNA. Even though they are similarly sized, the DNA appears larger because of that 5-inch panel. This 4.7-inch panel is the same resolution on the HTC One at uh, 1080p, but it is, uh, has a higher pixel density because it is only 4.7 inches diagonal. But you can see the edge-to-edge, -edge, you can see the bezel size is comparable between these two, and you can definitely tell that they're from the same manufacturer because their design language is similar, but it is a very, very big departure for HTC in the design department. That extends the software as well. This is powered by a Snapdragon 600 processor backed up by two gigs of RAM. Uh, not micro SD expandable as we were thinking initially, but you can get this device in 32 or 64 gig configurations. And this is the new Blink Feed, which Brandon showed you in his hands-on. We won't go too far in depth here, but obviously the biggest revise, uh, the biggest revision to HTC Sense in a very long time and you have your, your traditional app drawer there. On the DNA, see, we see you just much more traditional HTC Sense arrangement. Here's your app drawer on the DNA. Compared to the app drawer here, we have more, not white space, it's black space here, but just more space. Things have been thought about differently. That clock is now omnipresent with the weather. The buttons have been rearranged down below. A double tap on the home button gets you to multitasking, whereas there's a dedicated button for that on the DNA. Um, <laughs> which, depending on what, yeah, exactly. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of Chrome left in the Sense 4, whereas in Sense 5, they've really done a good job of cleaning things up. Look at that. The calculator is a great, great example of how things have just been flattened out. And you can even see the difference in the keyboard here. It's definitely been flattened on the new device. The space between the keys has been taken out, and it is a little better. This device, the HTC One, is going to ship with both Chrome and the stock Android browser out of the box. Let's do a comparison speed test. One, two, three. And obviously, we're not testing uh, load times here because we're not loading the same page. The browsers both popped up instantly, and we're also not on the same one network. One was a little faster. Well, one was, a little, one was loading a Google search page. But as you can see, so let's see responsiveness here. First, very difficult to hold both of these phones. Ugh. Let's just check responsiveness a little bit. We have pinch to zoom on the on the DNA. Very, very responsive. We came to love the DNA's responsiveness despite its heavy sense skin. Uh, but the one kind of takes it to another level here. I mean, the scrolling speed has been slow, is slower, so it's a little easier on your eyes. But its responsiveness is right on par. You can bring back the notification shade there. Just a ton of new features in the new version of Sense that we really have to explore here. But obviously, the biggest change in Sense in a very long time and a very, very significant shift, not only for HTC, but for uh, possibly for smartphones in general. We'll have to see going forward. Wrap it up on the camera real quick. The DNA incorporates a very standard 8 megapixel shooter, the same one we saw on the HTC One X, One XL, whereas the new one incorporates uh, what HTC is calling ultra pixels, uh, as, which is dual, dual 4 megapixel sensors doubled up uh, to create what HTC is calling their best camera experience ever. And that's backed up by a whole lot of new software there, which we're going to take a look at. Uh, obviously, you've got your filters here, but the real story is uh, HTC Zoe and the added settings built into this device. So we're going to check those out over on the other side of the room. But this, for now, just a quick comparison from the Droid DNA and the new HTC One. Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Stay tuned for more.